G'day, Starlo here. Without a doubt, one of my favourite forms of fishing is casting small surface lures on light tackle in our estuaries, either from a boat or while wading. While it's typically at its best from late spring through autumn, you might be surprised what you can catch this way right through the year, especially in the skinny, shallow water that so many anglers overlook. I use all sorts of lures in this application, but I recently found one from Shimano that really excites me. The brand new 66F Ligon. Now this is a sort of hybrid popper, walk the dog style stick bait, and um, I'm pretty impressed with how it looks and how it swims, so I'll give them a go this afternoon. I've actually retrofitted a couple of these ligands with small trailing assist hooks on the tail. Although it's certainly not essential to do so, I really like this setup. <laughs> you don't miss many fish on it. Oh yeah, got him. Came straight up and nailed it. He didn't muck around. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say probably a brim. coming straight at me. Yeah, it's a brim, not very big. But it's a start. Alright, now I don't want to blow in there, so I'm just going to hit the anchor button on the motor guide and hold myself here while I unhook this little fella. I'm a great believer in fishing with the wind at my back for maximum casting distance when doing this stuff. I'm working the lure with a combination of rhythmic rod tip bounces or jigs and a medium paced retrieve. But there are lots of options with the ligon. It casts really well too. I'm definitely covering some water. Oh, good fish. Wow. He absolutely nailed that. No follow, no swirl, just bang, and it's gone. Oh, I'm hoping it might be a big whiting. <laughs> wow. That was exciting. I might just spot lock us again, put us on anchor. No, it's a brim and it's not even all that big, you know. Wow, that thing hits so hard. <laughs> oh, they go in that shallow water, look at that. It's small enough to lift. I thought that was a much bigger fish than that. Pinned on the assist hooks. Just one assist hook in the lip. Go back out that way. So you don't scare the others. See if there's any more in there. I'm running six pound Kai Ricky braid and a reasonably short eight pound Oshia FC leader. Normally once you get one like that you've got to move a little bit so I'm just gonna kill the anchor switch and blow in there a little bit further. give you an idea of how shallow it is here. I could step out of the boat here and walk to the shore and not get my shorts wet. It's very skinny water. You can't see the bottom. I can just see the bottom. It's a little bit discoloured here at the moment, which is quite good I think with this bright sunshine. Oh that's a good long cast. The wind got that one which is what you want. Oh yeah, yep, 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 yep. You get those long casts in. That is the ticket. Well, 
I'm not going to call this <laughs> for a big fish because I, I called the last one as a, a good fish and it turned out to be fairly small. When you hook them at long range like this, you really get a fight out of them. I'm really hoping to be able to show you some decent whiting, but I think this is a brim by the feel of it. Bad fish. Oh, it's a whiting. It's a whiting. And it's a pretty good one. It's not huge, but it's a nice whiting. It's a oh yeah, no, it's a pretty good whiting. It's a dinner-sized whiting, put it that way. Oh, they fight so hard. They just will not give up. And he's in the net. Oh, I think that's my dinner taken care of. Look at that. It's no, by no means a huge whiting compared to some of the ones that I catch on the surface. But it's a very nice fish all the same. Probably around that 39 centimetre mark. 38, 39. It's when they get up over 40 that they're they're pretty serious fish. He got all laced up. He got hooked on the the cysts, but then managed to pin himself underneath on the treble. Dangerous things to handle. Very easy to end up with a hook in yourself like that. About 39. The clouds building up fast now, which probably isn't a bad thing. Oh yes, 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 yes. Come on. <gasps> That's a fairly good sized fish. Oh might be a good thing I didn't hook him. Oh I got that one though. Oh. There's rocks everywhere here, and they're all covered in oysters. And luckily, he's not very big. <laughs> uh. They're great little fighters at any size. I love them. Light spin gear is the go for this task, and I really like longer rods, like the various flat spin and long cast models in the Shimano ranges. They give you increased casting distance and superb line control. Eat it on the big paws, on the big paws. Got to be a brim. <laughs> I was playing around with the electric and uh, he just ate it off the surface. Oh, he's almost a bit big to lift, but I'll lift him anyway. Hmm. Wow, he's silvery. Just to anchor here for a second with the electric. How silvery is that brim? Beautiful. Love that flash boost mirror in the ligands too. I'm fishing down between rows of oyster racks here, danger country. Oh. 
Yes, got him. That's not a bad fish. Oh, yeah, that's not a bad fish at all. Oh, it's a good fish, I think. Might be in trouble here. Got a few oyster racks around us. Moved a bit of water when he took it. Oh. Yeah, he's a nice brim. Nice brim. I'll have to bring him over this rope. <laughs> Might even net that one. There we go. Oh. There's no monster, but he's not a bad fish. He went hard. Off you go, mate. It always pays to check the hook points after catching a fish. They're fine. I haven't exactly set the world on fire this afternoon, but it hasn't been a bad little session, and it certainly cemented my impression that the Shimano Ligon is going to be a surface lure in a league of its own for this type of work. Oh, missed him. I've already caught some lovely fish on it, and I look forward to bigger and better things this coming season. Until next time, this is Starlow, wishing you tight lines and check those ligands out.